In the last lecture, we created the getAll method where we were getting all the regions back from the database using the DB context. Now it's time to get a single region by ID and we will send the ID by Swagger and we will accept the ID in the controller over here and we will use that ID to try to find a region by that ID and if we are able to find it, we will return the response back. If we are not able to find it, we will return a not found back. So let's do that. Let's create a new action method. So let's first start with the comments that this will be the get single region. Or you can also say get region by ID. Anything that you know makes sense to you. So this will be an HTTP get method and again another comment that this will be accessed using the HTTP get verb and we will have to access the URL this and also pass the ID of the region that we want to get the information for in this route. So we can pass it as an ID in the route that will be the region ID. So now we can define this method. We can say HTTP get method and this is public I action result get or you can also say get by ID. And in here we have a parameter in ID which is wrong. We will change this. We would want to receive a GUID type because we have the IDs as GUIDs and the name of the parameter is let's say ID. Now we want to receive this ID but we can do that using the route attribute. So we can say we can add a route attribute and inside the uh, the round brackets we can have a string and inside the string we can say this is the ID property and make sure the ID property over here matches the ID over here. So basically when we pass a ID after the URL of the controller it will get mapped from the route to a input parameter over here and as a uh, if you want to make it type safe, we can go one step ahead and we can make a GUID. So we can say this is a GUID type. And also because we know this is coming from a route, we can use the property from route in front of this input parameter. So now let's work on the body of this one. We have to get the regions from the DB context from the database. So let's use the DB context again dot regions table or regions DB set. Then we have to we have two options over here. We can say find and find will basically take the primary key which is also the ID in our case. So if we give the ID over here, find would give us that ID if we are able to find that region using this ID. So let's store that in a variable. Let's say region is equal to whatever result we get from the DB context over here. And let's say return or let's put an if condition if region is equal to null. That means uh, the database doesn't have any region with this ID then we return a not found back which is a 404 and otherwise we return an OK response with the region details that DB context was able to find in that database. So the first line we are trying to get that information of the region using the ID. After that we are checking if the region is null that means we were not able to find a region using this ID then we return a not found otherwise we return an OK 200 response back with the region details. So let's start this application and try it out. So the application is running and now we have another action method which gets a single region by ID. I will expand on that and click on the try it out button. This is the ID that I have in the database so you can get the ID from the database. So copy that and paste it over here and if we click on the execute button it gives us a 200 success response because it was able to identify the region using the ID and it gets back all the information from the database. 
Now, for example, if this ID was something that our database doesn't have, what happens then? If I change the last number of this ID to four, so this still remains a valid grid, but the ID doesn't exist in our database. So if I now click on the execute button, it comes back with a 404 not found uh, result back. So the client, which is Swagger in the case, knows that there's no ID or there's no region with this ID that is stored in the database. So with that, we have seen how to get a single region or a single resource using the ID. There's another way we can use this method. So I can stop the application again. So one was the find. I will comment this out. Another way to get a single region back is using first or default, which is a link queue method. So I will create a variable again. Region is equal to DB context dot regions resource. This remains the same, but now I can use the method first or default and say x such that x dot id should match the id that I am passing in as the input parameter. Now you can do this for id, but you can also do this for other properties such as if you want to search on the name or the code, you can do that and you can say code is equal to code, but only if you are passing the code in the route. Because you are passing id, we can use first or default by saying id is equal to id or we can also use the find method. The find method only takes the primary key, so you can't use the find method for other properties such as code, name or image. So it can only be used with the ID property. So now we can uncomment the first or default and similarly we will see if the region was not found, we are returning the not found result back. If it was not null, that means found, we are returning the OK response. And if we run the application, this should give us the same result as before because to the application, it doesn't have any difference because we're using the primary key to get the region details back. So the application is running and I will copy this ID and try to get this region using this ID. So execute and entity framework core is now trying to connect to the database and get the information back. So now we have the 200 success response with the Auckland region by this ID. So everything remains the same, but you have two options that you can use if you are searching on the ID properly.